You're probably familiar with some of the mystifying behavior of quantum mechanical systems like the double slit experiment. To briefly recap, if we fire photons or some other particle at a barrier with two tiny slits in it, then a very non-classical pattern will appear on a subsequent barrier. This situation is often described something like this. It seems that when we don't observe the particles, they become and move as waves until they are observed, which makes them appear once again as particles. That's weird. And if you've been told that that's the only way of understanding the situation, you've been misled. An alternate description of the situation was formulated very early on in the history of quantum mechanics. Put very simply, it's the idea that particles are always particles. They don't become waves. But there is also a wave that influences the movement of the particles. This model is often called Bohmian mechanics, or the pilot wave model, and several other names. This alternate view totally upends our usual picture of the quantum world. It's not a place of particles spread out as fields of probability. There is no wave function collapse, nor is there an inaccessible proliferation of universes. Fundamental questions that dog traditional quantum mechanics are explained or simply evaporate. There is no mystery around measurement, for example, which includes difficult philosophical questions as well as practical issues, such as deriving the probability distribution from the wave function. Now, quantum mechanics is still very non-classical, which to us seems weird. Bohmian mechanics describes these behaviors just as traditional quantum mechanics does, except by different mechanisms. In Bohmian mechanics, there is the so-called pilot wave, whose behavior is described by a guiding equation, which is related to the Schrodinger wave equation. Particles are called entangled when they are described by a single wave function slash guiding equation. The only property possessed by the particles is position. Properties such as spin actually belong to the shared wave function. This leads to the familiar EPR paradox, where measuring the spin of an entangled particle will also inform you of the unmeasured particle's spin. Many objections have been raised against Bohmian mechanics over the decades, but none have lasted. All, so far, have been shown to be based on flawed assumptions or reasoning. Bohmian mechanics per se is an alternative to non-relativistic quantum mechanics. Modern quantum theories tend to be quantum field theories, which can generally work alongside special relativity. Traditional quantum mechanics is simpler to convert into a quantum field theory, but this statement obscures some outstanding issues. For example, the apparent fact of entanglement seems to violate special relativity. In traditional quantum mechanics, this fact is not reflected clearly in the math, and so is happily ignored. It's harder to make Bohmian mechanics into a field theory, largely because it contains more detail about the physical system, specifically the positions of the particles. However, it is possible to do. How this is accomplished raises questions about the meaning of special relativity. While the same questions arise in traditional quantum mechanics, so far the issue has been largely ignored. It should be said that experiment alone cannot yet tell us which interpretation of quantum mechanics is correct, and this may be the case forever. At the least, Bohmian mechanics should be considered alongside the Copenhagen, many worlds, consistent histories, and other interpretations of quantum mechanics. But I think that when investigated, Bohmian mechanics will be found superior because it is straightforward and concrete, if not simple.